Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather and today I'm really, really excited to show you the first of its kind, a 100% marbled shell Cordovan Giant the Fox. We also have a collection of a bunch of other marbled shell Cordovan pieces. So this is the first ever marbled cigar shell Cordovan Giant the Fox that we were able to get thin pieces of that marbled cigar for the interior of this wallet. We need particularly thin pieces of leather for all these layers on the card holders. And if you're not familiar with marbled cigar shell cordovan the way that the tannery achieves this look is by layering on a bunch of different layers of stain and this is what normal cigar shell cordovan looks like here you can see it's very much a true brown shade a little bit of a darker brown with not too much red to it and after the tannery has layered on all these different layers of stain they slowly scrape it away and you get something like this so we have a good color range from that true brown shade down to a little bit more of these orange tones. And sometimes we even see a little bit of a green. This particular shell here we've actually cut from and it's got a pretty funky brand in it. I think we're saving this for something special. So we were able to find leather that was appropriate to make for Giant of the Foxes. The first here, marbled cigar on the back, a little bit more of a subtle look on this particular one. And each of the wallets that we're looking at today will have their own individual product pages. So you'll be able to get the exact one with the patterning that you like. Here's another giant the fox with marbled cigar shell cordovan this one is a little bit more dramatic on the exterior you can see some of that color range from that sort of golden color a little bit more orangey down to more of that darker cigar shade and on the interior this particular one has a little bit more of a subtle look another giant the fox here with a really cool front card holder with that marbled shell on the bottom right and here's a look at the back of this one and the last giant the fox to look at i like this dramatic contrast of color with this orange stripe on the darker brown card holder on the bottom left. And we got some of those same stripes on the top left and right. We actually pattern matched all of these wallets to give you a really special piece for each one of these marble shell giant of the foxes. We were also able to make one lighter sheath in the marbled cigar shell cordovan. This one has a really great color range. We have one Frank the Enforcer also in that marbled cigar shell cordovan. Let me spin this one around for you because the marbled shells do have a really great color range. So depending on what angle you look at it, it might be lighter like at this angle, or if I spin it around, it's a little bit darker at this angle. We have one Vix snap wallet as well. This Vic snap wallet was originally envisioned as a coin pouch, but this will hold credit cards inside as well as coins. And I have four of what we found to be a fan favorite recently. These are the Bugs Moran wallet with the vertical card slots. Check out this one first with that really great fade of color from the darker cigar on the bottom that fades some more of those marble lighter shades on the top of this wallet. This is a really great looking piece on the exterior as well as on the interior where we have more marbled cigar shell cordovan. Here's another vertical Bugs Moran with some great marbling on the exterior. You can see that great color range, orangey tan down to that darker true brown shade. Here's a look at the inside. We tried to cut Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamps for all of these as well. Here's another great one. This is about as light as we see the marbled cigar, but it does give you a great color range still from the brown to orange. And here's a look at the interior of this. And the last vertical Bugs Moran here. A little bit more subtle on this one. We do have a little bit of those darker brown shades, but there is some contrast with the orange, especially at this angle where it's lightened up quite a bit. Here's a look at the interior. We have a lighter card holder on the front, a little bit darker in the back. And we were able to make two Fat Herbies in the marbled cigar shell cordovan. Check this out here. I really love the Fat Herbie because of these larger pattern pieces, especially on something like a marble shell cordovan, where we get to see this great range of color on such a large piece of leather. Here's a look at the inside of this one. It's a little bit more subtle on the interior, but this particular one does have a really nice Horween measuring machine stamp, which are pretty tough to cut most often. One more fat Herbie to look at, again in the marbled cigar. This is a great color. And it seems like it's been a fan favorite. So we did get some of these marbled cigar shells in pretty recently, and we're really excited to be able to offer these to you. We do have a little bit of marbled cigar shell cordovan left over. So if you're looking for a made to order custom piece, we should be able to make you something. And we have three Capone money clips. These really stood out as particularly nice to me. The first one here has a really great orange piece for the top card holder and it's sitting on something that's a little darker and a slightly more green. This is sort of the dark range that I see on the cigar shell cordovan. 
the more greenish range. And here's a look at the interior of this Capone with more marbled cigar shell cordovan. And this one has an antique brass spring bar money clip, as do the other two. Here's a look at another Capone, also in the marble cigar. You can see the centerpiece is a little bit green on this one also, but slightly less dark than the first one we looked at. And here's a look at the interior. And the last Capone, this one's got some really great contrast of color. I, I sort of like the striped look where we get the darker cigar shade down to a little bit more of the orangey tan. And that continues through the center here as well as onto the back where it's even more orange. And here's a look at the interior. This one's got a really great contrast. And we're going to finish it up with some Tony the Ants and Bugs Moran. Here's a look at the first Tony the Ant. A really great color range on all these marbled shells. The team here did a really nice job cutting all these pieces in a very thoughtful way so everything sort of blends together nicely. Just look at the interior of this Tony the Ant where we also, again, tried to cut that Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp into a really visible spot in the center. And one more Tony the Ant here. This one's a little bit darker, which I think a lot of people actually prefer. I, I'm more uh, into the really dramatic color range, but I think most people like this more subtle look where it's more of a true brown on the outside with a, just a little bit of color range. And this one's really special because we have the Horween measuring machine stamp in the center, as well as some more of those darker card holders to perfectly match the exterior. And we're gonna finish it off with some Bugs Moran here. And I'm really excited with how these turned out. Check out that particular piece of marble cigar. Really great dramatic color range on this piece of marbled shell. And something I should have mentioned earlier, all of these have sort of a semi-aniline edge finish to it. We did add a little bit of color just to blend in things a little bit, but you do get this nice framed effect because you do see a little bit of a lighter edge color. And here's a look at the interior. This particular one and the next one really blew me away. I love the look of these marbled shells. Check out that color range too, as I spin this around light at that first angle and a little bit darker at this angle. And here's a look at the last wallet, the last Bugs Moran in the marbled shell cordovan drop. Check that out. Marbled cigar shell cordovan is really, really special color range. And it's much different than the marbled color eight because this doesn't have much of that burgundy sort of reddish tone to it. And I really like, there's something about this on the interior. I really like how these particular Bugs Morans turned out. Just a great color range on all these. So thanks for checking out everything in the video. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. And everything we just looked at is now available on the private stock page of our website, including the first time ever of a 100% marbled show cord of in Johnny the Fox. So thanks again. I hope you have a great day.